Hey, how's everyone doing today? Today I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on uh, how to install these rain visors. I uh, just did it on this side, as you can see. Uh, and I'll show you guys how to do the other side. I just wanted to make sure before I made a video that I knew how to do it correctly. So, found a little, a few shortcuts. I found a lot of tutorials online, but they kind of added too many instructions. So, this is the final product right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. Here's all the clips and stuff inside. And I'll show you guys step by step on how to do it. So I just have this side done, the driver's door side. This is the final product. Okay. So those are all the clips you can see. And I'll show you guys how to do the passenger side. So first off, you'll get of course two of these guys. A bunch of clips. There's actually two different types of clips. I'll show you guys right here. So these are the known as A clips and these are the ones you actually clip in to the car after you mount it. So there should be six of those on each side. So 12, there's three, four, five, and six. And this is the one you mount to your second screw hole. And the difference between this one is there's actually a hole to fit a screw in and the other ones don't have this sort of design or hole in it. So first off you just want to want to clean up this right here. So this mount right above your door. So you just clean the whole thing off with some glass cleaner. They also give you a adhesive whatever with primer adhesive. This also comes in the package. Okay, so after you wipe it off with some glass cleaner, you can put this on and just wipe it all the way down this black part. You're not going to need to clean off the paint on your car around here. I mean, you could just to be safe. So I already cleaned mine, but you just wipe it all the way down. And then you get a separate napkin and put some of this liquid onto it and then wipe the same. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Also in the packaging they give you some instructions right here. Uh, I kind of went on WXR tuners and they had pictures so it was easier to follow than just this. But I mean these are three pages of instructions and uh, they're pretty helpful. I don't know. You can follow that. So first off they say do a lot of measuring because where you're going to mount it. So let's see, actually first off you're going to want to start by peeling these off, it's kind of like the window guard, you just go by pulling it. You don't need to pull it off all the way, just to expose some of the screws holes underneath. So there's some screw holes right there. So just peel it off until you can see it, so that's good. And this is the second screw hole that you're going to be mounting the the bracket with the hole in it. So there's screw hole one and two. So that's a one that you're gonna have to keep in mind right there. And also you're gonna open your back door and just pull off this side also. So next off you're gonna wanna find this bracket right here with the hole. In your package there's only two of them and so it's one for each side. So what you're gonna wanna do is take off this screw and put this behind it and then just loosely tighten it. Alright, so once that screw is on, it's right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's right there. So it's on, it's nicely screwed in right there with that screw that comes factory. So now you're gonna want to prepare your visor. So you're just gonna want to pull up the tape a little bit. So when you put it on the car, you have something to grab on top to pull it back. So this is a tip they write on the instructions and this is very helpful. So along your visor, there's actually a little notch right, let's see if I can show you guys. So it's maybe four inches from the tip. And that notch will go into this bracket right here. And that'll kind of Another tip I learned from a uh, forum is just to have tape along your car and this will actually hold up your visor. 
so it doesn't bend or anything when you're trying to remove the tape. So just put one in the middle of your car and one at the end and this will hold the visor. So right now the only, the only things that are holding up my visor is this B clip right here. So you can tell it's attached under the visor. So under that part right there and it will snap into that little clip hole. And also just a couple pieces of tape. Just so you can get a rough estimate on where the alignment is. And that part will go down once you... Yeah. Okay. So now the part is you have your little piece of tape right there. And you're just going to slowly pull it back. So as you're pulling back, just hold your hand along the seam like this. All the way back. And it'll align once you're slowly pulling the tape off. And I obviously can't do it with one hand. And as you're going along, you can just remove your kind of helper tape. So I'm already this far along and all this part is lined up nicely with the seam. And I'll get back to you when I'm done. So now the entire visor is removed. I mean put on. And all you have to do is just put on the six clips on each side. So everything's nice and aligned all the way to the very end. And this is all the, the tape stuff you removed. So right now you're going to hack where your clips are for your car. One, two, three, and then three in the back. There's actually little holes in your visor. And the tip I found with for these is you want to squeeze it. And then put it in. And squeezing it just so it lets you hear the clip noise. So the last clip, the C clip, is the one very small clip right there. And this just goes on the little bracket that comes with your, um, that's connected to your visor. So it's that right there, that's your, the only one on your visor and it's like an inch from the front. So it's right there. So once everything's put back together, you just want to make sure the door closes nice and seamly. And so everything's going to line up pretty darn close to the door, so just make sure everything lines up. And perfect, and you're all done. This is on the left side on the passenger. Everything's lined up nice and smoothly. Just like that.